the 2023 SEA Games put a spotlight on stellar Filipino gymnasts in May 2023. Rewind the months back to April. Nine little girls representing the Philippines light up the 2023 Moose Games. Sid Castro-Tayag manages the gymnasium where these kids train to become national champions one day. It's a very nice, friendly competition. It's the biggest invitational in Thailand. It's really meant to encourage the kids, so you hit target scores and you get certain medals. I'm very proud of our team because all of them, almost everyone hit the target scores for gold. Some of the kids in that group are the small ones, which we label them the sassy girls. They're called the Pre-Team Future Internationals Program. We have maybe right now eight kids ages seven to nine, and we have nine kids ages 12 to 15 in that program. So this is the group that we're training, hopefully for the national team and to compete for the country in the future. But then we're really proud of our girls because some of them placed in the top 10. And then one of our level six gymnasts, who's level seven now, Maxine, she was all-around champion for level six in her category, which is open category. Maxine and Jillian are training to participate in the regional Palarong Pambansa and Singapore's Prime Gymnastics Invitational. I'm Maxine, I'm 11 years old, and I'm a part of the FIP group. I'm Jillian, I'm 12 years old, and I'm a part of the FIP group. I've been doing gymnastics since I was four years old. I've been doing gymnastics since I was six years old. She competed against kids who were 16, 15, so we're really proud of her for that. It taught me so much, and I was able to mature more, and I learned so many lessons that sometimes I can't learn in school. And also gave me a lot of discipline so I can handle a lot more now. And I also just love the feeling of flipping and getting new skills. I discovered on YouTube and I tried to tumbling down there and then I was like, what if I try gymnastics? It would be like so much fun. So in Thailand, I got gold medal on balance beam, gold medal on uneven bars, bronze medal on floor exercise, and then individual all around champion. And for that, I think I train every week, like every day, except Sunday. It was my first international competition since the pandemic, so it just felt really nice and it was a good start to the season. Lucia and Marina are both eight years old. The two competed in Thailand's Moose Games along with Maxine. Go Cece! So why were you guys called the Sassy Girls? We didn't get the name, Tita Sid got the name. So you guys competed in Thailand? Yes. yes. How many awards did you win? Um, four. Four? Four medals. What kind of medals were they? Two go for me, it was two gold and two silver. We trained two times, but like one time was in the competition place and one time was in the art hotel. I just feel excited, but only sometimes nervous. So like I don't fall on my skills on the events. Sometimes I feel scared and sometimes I feel excited. I was surprised on my scores when they gave us our scores. I felt surprised with the medals. Ina Onofre Loberanes coaches the girls. Sobrang laking difference kasi before nung pumasok sila dito, sobrang zero lang nila. Even sa beam, kahit nagwo-walk lang sila, natatakot sila. Ngayon, they can do a L handstand, a forward roll, a round of dismount. We usually train three times a week. Actually, mahirap talaga magturo ng bata. Pero syempre, passion namin na i-share yung knowledge tsaka yung skills namin na sa coach as an athlete. Kaya inahabaan namin yung pasensya namin. Lalo na pagdating sa kanila ang cute tsaka mabait naman din. Minsan. <laughs> we start from as young as two and a half. They start in our toddler's program and then all the way up to our higher level programs. 
Annika Maya says she enrolled her child Amanda in gymnastics when she was three. She was accompanying her sister who was 10 then. So she was selling Kit Kit. She only uh, joins during weekends and that's where she grew her love for gymnastics. So we were very surprised when she won. We were really happy but she really worked hard towards this. She trained every day for three hours. She really put in the work that's needed and we didn't hear her complaint. We couldn't be more grateful also for the gym because if it weren't for their you know, program, she wouldn't go into the gym now she is. The philosophy of our gym really is that no one falls through the cracks to really help each gymnast reach their full potential. For each child, that's different. We always tell the coaches is that as a club, we need to believe in the kids because sometimes they don't believe in themselves, especially coming from a two-year pandemic where many of them were just stuck at home. So it's like these little achievements, little goals that really make us really proud of what we're doing here. Masaya kasi nakita ko sa kanila na win or lose, happy sila, proud sila sa nagawa nilang achievements, na nagawa nila yung skills nila ng maayos at maganda.